Hi everyone, Nick and John here from Aim High Family Firearms Center. And today we're back with one of our sets of staff picks. Now this set of five guns that we have here is our pick for the best plinking guns that we offer on the range counter. Hey Nick, uh, for the folks at home that don't know, what is, what is a plinking gun? What does that entail? So basically when we're looking for a plinking gun, uh, what we're talking about is something that uh, is in a, inexpensive to purchase, inexpensive to shoot, maintain, that you can go out on the range with, you can have a good time, you can blow a ton of ammo without feeling bad or making your, your wallet hurt after being out on the range all day. Um, so we have a selection of guns, you'll notice this is one of our first times we've ever had a rifle here. And uh, if you stay stand by until the end of the, uh, the episode here, we'll get into another toy that's going to be really fun that uh, we'll get an intro into another video we're going to be putting out soon. Yeah, wonder what it is, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm biting at the teeth. I know what it is. <laughs> All right, so we'll start with the rifle. Since this is our first time having a rifle up here, uh, this is one of my favorite plinking guns. This is one of the easiest guns to shoot in a 22 caliber, uh, possibly ever made. Oh, yeah. This is the Ruger 1022, and this particular variant is called the 1022 Takedown. Uh, named so because it has a very easy takedown feature that allows you to break it into two pieces to be able to put it into a pack. Now all these guns come with a pack to be able to, to carry them in. So it makes it really easy to carry it in and out of the range or if you're going out on a camping trip and you got some place to shoot while you're out there, you can throw that barrel back on and get right to shooting. Uh, this gun's great. It comes with a 10 round magazine. It also has options to be able to purchase up to a 25 or a, a 25 times two magazine where it's got basically two magazines that are welded oh, yeah. together. Uh, so really fun gun to go out there and shoot. It is semi-automatic, so you load this thing up with 10 rounds, you charge the bolt, and then you got 10 rounds of fun or 25 rounds of fun before you have to reload again. And shooting the 22 caliber, you're looking at some fairly inexpensive ammo. Uh, this one's got a scope on it. It's a perfect gun for taking out, shooting some paper with, or dispatching that rabbit that keeps getting into your garden. A few things I like about this gun, Nick, is it a comes in a number of configurations from yeah, the tactical nice. variant to um, you know you've got your different colored stocks the camo the laminate the laminate the the nice oak stock um, and the traditional walnut don't forget about that one that too um, the thing that I really do like is the aftermarket accessories available for the 1022 uh, kind of like our friend over here the G lock um, there's tons and tons of aftermarkets and to replace the barrels with those fancy heavy barrels if you really want to talk uh, do a lot you know precision target shooting it's, yeah all this is an allen crew a yeah. nice little set screw boom in and out but uh, this speaking of this takedown model the bag that it comes with actually has a spot for our next gun in it yeah so why don't you talk about that so our next gun is the Ruger SR22 now this is a semi-auto 22 caliber by Ruger, uh, has a 10 round capacity. One of the nice parts about this, if you're getting somebody new to shooting into it, it's got a very easy slide to be able to rack. So when you rack this slide, it takes almost no effort, which is, for somebody who's new, makes the process much easier, learning how to rack the slide, learning how to clear the gun, learning how to load the gun. Um, so that's a great option. Another thing is, for safety reasons, it has a decocker on it. So you pull down on the safety, it's going to decock the gun for you. Then you can take out your magazine. You can take out that round that's in the chamber. You can make it safe, the safest way possible. So you don't have to learn how to decock a single action before you can use this gun. You can get out there and you can learn with it in the double action mode and still be safe. Uh, this particular model comes with a Crimson Trace laser on it. Uh, this one is designed to go onto any gun, so it's not any unique. Um, when you grip the gun type activation, it does have a button on either side, so it is ambidextrous to turn it on and off. Makes it really easy to shoot with. Again, for a beginner, incredibly easy. Um, Takedown for it's fairly simple. The nice part about buying a gun from us, if you stop in, you see us, we sell you this gun, we're gonna teach you how to take it down before you leave the store. Um, so even though it may be a little bit different than some others, you're not gonna leave the store not knowing what you're looking at. What do you think, John? Uh, I do really like it. Like you said, it's got the laser. Nice little red laser right there on my hand. Um, adjustable rear sight yeah um, and the Ruger most Rugers have this feature but Ruger is very known for this feature it has it what's called a magazine disconnect so no magazine means no bang right which is great when you're teaching someone um, again like you said it's got the safety but these guns are 
great, they're inexpensive, and they're very reliable. Yeah, extremely. This one's been on the range counter for quite a while. We don't have any issues with it. So, John, what are you going to tell us about our next gun? This is a, another brand variant of the 22 semi auto pistol. So, what I have in my hand is the MMP 22 Compact. Uh, this is Smith & Wesson's uh, uh, 22 copy of their 9mm full size duty style handgun. It is a 10 round capacity. Very nice. It's got the same feel as their full size uh, companion. Uh, easy to field strip and what people don't really know about this is this is not a striker fired gun this is a hammer fired gun really so it has an ex internal hammer that when you pull the trigger the hammer actually drops and hits the uh, rim fire pin there um, again with the rear adjustable sights and the uh, ability to have fun stuff put on the front yeah we'll talk about that more in a little bit but uh, Nick what do you think so I think it's a great gun you know I, I shoot the MMP full size and, and compact and to be able to have a 22 that honestly feels very similar, you only have a little bit of reduction in size on the grip. So going from your full size 9 or 40 to the 22, you can really get a lot of practice in without losing any technique. Uh, you don't have to change your grip. You've got the safety in the same location. You've got the slide lock in the same location. So really this makes it the perfect plinking gun to go out and practice without spending the money on your 9mm or 40 caliber ammo. Uh, so I would highly consider this gun. Again, it is available for rent. And at the end of the show here, I'll tell you about a, a fun toy that we have for rent with this one. You can try it out. Uh, great option there. Um, so next we have another Ruger. And this one will look a little strange to some people if you're not into uh, the 22 caliber pistols. So right here, this is the uh, Mark III target model. This is going to represent the entire Mark series from Ruger. So you have the Mark I, Mark II, Mark III, and now the new Mark IV. Yeah. Um, Mr. Ruger was a very smart man. When uh, World War II ended, a lot of guys came back and they really liked the grip angle of that PO8 Luger, you know, the infamous Luger that mm -hmm. the Germans had. Uh, the guys liked the way it felt in their hands, so Mr. Ruger copied that exact grip angle and also copied it in a 45, well, like 1911 style grip angle, uh, basically to make a fun planking gun for the GIs who came back from World War II. Yeah, give them um, that same grip angle. Same thing with the the Smith & Wesson is going to give them that same feel, whether you're used to shooting a 1911 or you're used to shooting one of those Lugers, uh, some unique grip angles to be able to practice with for cheap. So unlike most of these guns, you'll see that most of them have a slide on the top. This has an actual bolt carrier right here. So this is this will actuate back and forth. We have a safety on the side, again, with the adjustable sights. So this one here has the Crimson Trace laser grips. That's why we uh, have this on a rental counter. They're great for first time shooters because they have a little heft to them. Very accurate. Yeah. A lot of our guys who shoot our bullseye leaks use these, these Mark series. Um, the only thing that they've changed, the difference between the Mark III and the Mark IV is the takedown. Um, and if you've ever had to take one of these apart. Yeah, it, it, can, it can be a little bit of a pain. pain if you don't know what you're doing. So that change is definitely well welcomed mm -hmm. by the community. So. This model is probably one of my favorites out there. Um, every time I pull it off the range counter, it's a tack driver. It hits exactly where I want it to. I can see why a lot of guys would take it out for those bullseye leagues. And you know, honestly, if you've seen our bullseye league advertisements and you thought, hey, I really want to get into something like a bullseye league, somewhere where I can go and I can meet other shooters who have similar interests and want to help me better myself, or uh, you know, you want to go out and you're, you're an excellent shot and you want to help people, but maybe you don't have a 22 to get into it and you really don't want to shoot any more 45 because it can be a little pricey. This is one of the best guns to get in with at a reasonable price. Uh, we're looking in the five to $600 range for this versus a, a high-end uh, target pistol starting in the thousands of dollars. So this is a great option right off the shelf, get out there and shoot uh, and really have fun with it. Yeah, and at its price range, it's around the five, $600 range when you talk about high-end target guns, you're talking about the Smith & Wesson 41, um, the... I think the higher, some of the, yeah. some of the custom guns that are out there that are uniquely crafted to where the grip specifically fits only you. I mean, the thing might as well be biomass because <laughs> you're the only one who's ever going to be able to shoot it. So this is what your entry level is going to look like. Oh, and, and we forgot to mention that this one actually does have a laser grip on it from Crimson Trace. So this one is an instinctive grip laser, so when you grip the gun, the laser activates and you get your nice dot. So just by gripping the gun, yeah. you're getting that laser. Now you also have a master on and off switch on there. So if you don't want to shoot with it, say you're shooting in a bullseye leak 
and you're not allowed to have your laser on while you're shooting it, you can turn that off uh, and not have to worry about it. You can also turn it off if you're out just shooting and you really want to practice with the iron sights. Um, so John, I'm going to talk about our next gun here. You're not going to reach past yet. Here, let me give you the gun, and then I'll hold this up and like fan away. Yeah, this is the fun part. This is what really makes it a plinking gun. So this is the Glock 26. Um, so Glock 26 comes in a 9mm, and some people may say, well, that's not really a plinking gun in a 9mm. It's a small concealed carry gun, and it definitely does its job well in the concealed carry uh, and everyday carry aspect. But Advantage Arms Inc. came out with these 22 conversion kits for these. And they're really fancy kits. They come with this really nice felt lined case. If John wants to hold that up so we can actually see into the case a little bit. It comes with a replacement slide, barrel, and a spring kit so that you can take the, the whole upper portion of this gun off, slap theirs on, and put the magazine that it comes with in here, and you've effectively converted this gun to a 22. Now, that makes it really fun because instead of buying a Glock, in the roughly 550 to 600 dollar range and then buying a 22 in that three to 500 dollar range you can simply use the same gun by buying one of these advantage armed kits and saving yourself a little money it even comes with a cleaning kit for the 22 so if that's your only 22 that you own you don't have to go out and buy a cleaning kit you just have to refill some accessories as you use them uh, so that really makes this the perfect plinking gun to me uh, you know if you're carrying this gun this is the perfect option to be able to go out and get practice with the exact gun, the exact trigger that you're using every day while you're out carrying in a cheaper caliber to shoot. So what's your what's your opinion, John? So my opinion on this is this is awesome, to say the least. You know, you go out there and say you, you have our membership, you're here once, you know, once a week, you know. Free if you're here at once least, a month, yeah. at least. Um, but you come in and you want to shoot your carry gun, and that can get expensive. 9 millimeter is cheap, but it, you know it's a can't be. The, it's not always the cheapest thing. Switching back and forth, especially if you want to start off shooting 22s and then swap over to the nine. You know, like he said, you get the same trigger pull, the same grip, the same feel. Nothing's changing, and it's just like the MP here. You're getting to practice with your carry gun, so that when it comes to you needing it to protect yourself, you'll be ready. Yeah, it's perfect. And I mean, if you ever taken apart a Glock, it's it's very simple to do. You pop the magazine, check for clear. You're gonna pull the trigger and hit your two sides of your takedown pin, and you've got the gun apart. Now all you gotta do is throw that slide on instead of this one. When you're done, you do the reverse, and you throw this slide back onto it, and you're back ready to carry. You throw your normal magazine of carry ammo in there, stick it in your holster, and you're ready to go. So this is the perfect kit to be able to come in and practice without having to use all that 9 millimeter ammo. So let's go ahead and close that up. Get this put and I have one more treat for you guys. You know, usually we do our wild card gun, but this time instead of a wild card gun, I decided to bring a wild card item. Um, so silencers are one of the great mysteries of the gun world for most people. So you've seen them in the movie, you know that they make your gun quiet, uh, and the movie would convince you to think that they're <laughs> absolutely silent. Uh, we call them suppressors, uh, they're legally referred to as silencers, basically they're a fancy muffler for your gun. So our MMP 22, you can actually come in and you can rent this can to be able to stick on here for just a little bit extra money out on the range and you can get a feel for what a silencer is and does. Uh, so here in a, about a week or so, I'm going to have another video where I'm going to tell you not only about how a silencer works, what it is, uh, but I'm also going to give you a little overview on the process as it stands currently. Obviously it might change with some of the recent legislation, but as it stands currently, to try and help you if you maybe thought about looking at one or thought they were illegal, um, to maybe help, uh, help you understand a little bit better how these work and how you can obtain one if you really want one. What I really like about the, this specific silencer is I've used it on this gun. Um, it's great as a training aid. Yeah, for it those, is. For those shooters that are scared of the noise and recoil, you put it on there and it does help with the noise. And uh, like Nick said, we're going to do that nice video. And I hope you guys stuck around to find out this awesome secret we had planned. Yeah. So, so thank you for joining us. These are our top five picks for plinking guns. And uh, don't forget the, uh, the Ruger 1022. We threw it off the side here. But uh, come in, check any of these guns out on the range. You can't shoot the advanced or the uh, 
I'm sorry, the Advantage Arms kit while you're out there on the range, but you can rent that Glock 26 if you would like to. We do have the Advantage Arm kits for sale. Currently for the 26, uh, we can order them in in other calibers, other gun sizes as well. So uh, feel free to stop in and chat with us. And uh, don't forget to check us out over on our Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we've been posting a lot of good content over there. So you know, if you want to stay apprised of what's going on in the industry and what's going on in our store, uh, especially some flash sales we've been having here in December, oh, yeah. uh, I'm sure we'll continue that type of, of information as we go into the early year. Uh, so if we don't see you again before the end of 2017, have a happy new year. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Yeah, thanks guys, and then like Nick said, keep up to date on our Facebook page for events like our Bullseye Leagues, so the entire schedule for the leagues are up, and for the GF, GSSF matches, which is a Glock, or a aim, aim High match. You don't need a Glock, shooting our matches. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great holiday, and we'll see you on the other side.